what I think all these design features and term settings and all this work that we're doing is leading us to. And that's what we call conceptual tagging as opposed to citational tagging. This example is about fleet management. And if you think back to that government department with no folders in their content management system, all the documents that they're saving in that would have traditionally gone into the folder, we need to be able to put some functional classification on it. So we pick up on all the evidence terms like procurement, is it a petrol invoice, it is an odometer reading, and we use the relationships, the classes, the rules, and those evidence terms to still get that functional classification onto that content. Because if you think about it, none of it says fleet management on it. We can then obviously trigger the re records disposition code off that because we're recognising that it's to do with this function and it's this kind of document. And then we can take it even a step further and we can start getting into some of the sentiment type tagging where we're picking up the aboutness of the document even though no one said that actually this is basically a document about all the issues we had with planning. We can trigger using all those evidence terms that we've collected, the way we've structured our terms in the ontology and the way we've used semantic software to apply them to content to get those kind of pivotal search terms um, or whatever it is that's meaningful to your organisation onto that content. 